15 internationally renowned scientists were in Singapore recently for the inaugural Global Young Scientists Summit. Among them are Nobel Prize winners Eric Cornell and Ada Yonath. They shared with Channel News Asia what it took for them to become giants in their fields. Kimberly Spikerman with more. They didn't become heavyweights overnight. In fact, the discoveries that garnered them the prestigious Nobel Prize were years in the making. In 2009, Ada Yonat became the first woman in 45 years to win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry after documenting the spatial structure of a ribosome, which are used by cells to make protein. She said the discovery, the culmination of 20 years of research, was a dream come true. This was overwhelming. This is unbelievable. Inside me, I couldn't sleep and I saw it all the time. Similarly for physicist Eric Cornell, who lost an arm to flesh-eating bacteria a few years ago, his discovery was the highlight of his career. He was one half of the duo that created a new form of matter called a Bose-Einstein condensate. It was exciting to win the Nobel Prize, but not as exciting as it was to make the experiment work. You know, really it was 1995 when the experiment worked. I loved that. It was a sense of great power and excitement. For both, science was a love affair that began when they were very young. Professor Yonat fell two floors trying to gauge the distance between the floor and the ceiling, while Professor Cornell used to solve physics brain teasers when he had trouble falling asleep. For me, I feel that learning physics is like discovering the secrets. Uh, you know, if you're, maybe you're an actor and you're, and you're performing in a play and uh, you get to go behind the scenes and see how the play comes together. I think as a physicist, it's like that. You get to go behind the scenes, find out what's really going on. I feel it's almost like a secret knowledge. And it's a love affair that has endured. Once it becomes boring, I will stop. As long as it, it's interesting, my curiosity drives me. Passion to science and curiosity. Both scientists said that summits like these, which bring an international mix of young scientists together, could pave the way for future collaborations.